Hello guys and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included with some more little automation to improve your base actually. This time we are going to take care of the Thermo Aqua Tuner. This one also has an automation input which allows us to enable or disable the device anytime we want it. Uh, first of all, what we are taking care of, or what we will have to take care of, is the temperature probably in the steam room. As you can see, currently it's 122 degrees, so no danger here. But still, we could use or could build a thermo aqua tuner just from steel, for instance, and then the overheating temperature would be 275 degrees. And just to avoid that from happening, we could add a little thermal sensor on top of it and connect it to the enable input of the aqua tuner, just like so. And for instance, set the temperature here uh, to above, no, actually below 270 degrees. So every time this thermal sensor uh, detects a temperature below 270, we are sending a green signal to the thermal aqua tuner and therefore it will never reach the 275 degrees where it could actually overheat in case it was uh, built from steel. Now this of course is not the only thing you could do. For instance, if you do have a decent amount of solar energy in your base, just like so, and you are feeding the solar energy to a few batteries and also a smart battery. Uh, you could actually just use the aqua tuner to yeah, get rid of some extra power you have in your base, for instance. So for that you are using the smart battery. I've set that to 80 and 0 for the thresholds. And I'm just uh, yeah, putting a NOT gate after the first automation layers here and that not gate will be connected just to the aqua tuner just like so and as you can see because at the moment we don't have the battery filled to 80 percent it is sending a red signal first and then the signal is being converted into a green signal because of the NOT gate. Now the smart battery has just reached 80% uh, of its capacity so basically now we are sending a green signal because of that and once the energy from the smart battery is consumed uh, it will send a red signal. So with this little automation you can save up uh, basically a lot of power. You're just burning, let's say, excess power you might have from your solar panels. That could be a useful automation. And of course what is important for the um, aqua tuner as well is the temperature of the coolant inside of the pipes. And for that there's a specific um, sensor in the game that is the liquid pipe thermosensor. You can e either uh, plant that one in front of the aqua tuner or after the aqua tuner. I'm just going with uh, in front of it first. I'm going to place that here and connect it to the automation grid. And just delete the other connection here. And now I can set the temperature of the coolant. As you can see, it's being detected at around three to yeah min minus three to minus minus five degrees something. So I can basically say. Let's only uh, activate the aqua tuner if the temperature is above like zero degrees or because that's the case right now, I'm just going to minus four. And then the uh, aqua tuner starts running again. So with that we can basically set a target temperature for our cooling loop because every uh, coolant is just cooled down by 14 degrees. Uh, with the aqua tuner, we can just um, yeah basically define the target temperature in our uh, yeah cooling room or whatever you're gonna cool. And of course, uh, you can could combine multiple of those uh, conditions. For that, you will need AND gates. 
just gonna place that down here because it's easier to see. So for instance, if you just wanna use excess energy from the batteries, that's this input. And additionally, you also want only want to start the aqua tuner when the temperature of the coolant is higher than a specific amount. You could just add this to the end gate and connect the output to the aqua tuner. So this this way we have basically made use of both conditions. Um, both conditions need to be true at the same time. At the, at the moment the battery is filled, but still the thermo sensor is not sending a green signal because the coolant is still at minus six degrees and we are uh, gonna start cooling at minus four. I'm just gonna put that to minus 10. So basically you see now both conditions are fulfilled and therefore the aqua tuner starts running. Now there could also be situations where you have more than two conditions to add here. Then you just need to place another AND gate in a row with the first AND gate. Connect the output of the new AND gate to the input of the already existing one. Then you can just feed in other conditions just like so. It's just a little mess uh, in your base, as you can see, putting multiple conditions in a row. But I think there's currently no way to expand the end gate or give it extra inputs, so to say. That's kind of a limit of the automation that is being provided by the game for now. So I think that's the very basic automation for the Thermo Aqua Tuner. If you have any further questions, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I would appreciate if you guys considered to subscribe to the channel. Thanks and goodbye.